Welcome back, folks, for a Redux leak episode of the VK101P, the Mammoth. So I already covered this vehicle about a year and a half ago, and it was like a Tiger II with a bigger gun at the cost of mobility. So about the same mobility as the mouse, but the armor is alright, it's mediocre. But now it's going to be introduced with patch 9.17.1 with the moist hen, the mouse chin, and the Panzer Kampfwagen Mark 7 variant. So it's like the VK7201K. But yeah, this vehicle gets super buffed in the meantime since the initial leak episode about it. So it's going to be a redux leak episode because there's a lot of changes to this vehicle. And now it's like when I did the Japanese heavy tanks with the leak episodes. And this thing is hilariously OP in my honest opinion because it's a bully to lower tier vehicles. You cannot kill this thing in a tier 6. Even with gold shell, you cannot kill this thing with small amounts of gold shell in a tier 7. You have to use a lot of gold and you have to aim at super small weak spots. So this thing is basically a bully. <laughs> it's a lumbering behemoth of a heavy tank and yeah Similar to the name, it's super hard to take one of these down, but imagine a platoon of three of these coordinated together on a city map like Himmelsdorf. Oh my god, how do you kill one of these things in a Sherman Easy 8? You don't. <laughs> so let's take a look at the new stats and we'll talk about the history. So what is the VK101P Mammut? Well, it's designed by Ferdinand Porsche as a replacement for the Tiger II. So this design was the initial design for the mouse before there's actual concept for the mouse. It was competing against the Krupp design of the Lurva, the Lion. So it beats the Panzerkampfwagen Mark 7. That's the VK7001K, which is the initial version of the VK7201K, but that's the reverse Lion, so yada yada yada, there's a whole different story and kind of worms. But this design won out for the contract, and it was the initial design for the mouse. So they took a look, they liked it, but they want to modify some of the turrets, some of the guns. So the initial gun for this vehicle was the 150mm L40. So that's basically the same gun, close to the E100 by two more uh, length digits of the L. So <laughs> it's a big heavy tank, but there's also the 128mm L50, and both guns have low velocity, so it performs more like the large shells on the SU-100Y. So it's a large gun with a lot of alpha, but it's slow to shoot. So that's basically the whole concept of the vehicle, but it's going to be a little bit cramped in the turret for the 150mm, and that's why their turrets are modified, and then it seems that the center of mass was difficult. They shifted the turret around, and that further design complications led to the moist hen, the mouse chin, and then the mouse. So this was the initial, very earliest design for the super heavy tank, the mouse. So frontal armor was 120, sloped at 40 degrees, about 190 millimeter effective. So side armor is not that thick and turret armor is not that thick. So very similar to the Porsche Tiger II with the Porsche turret, but it's not designed by Porsche, it's designed by Krupp. So that's the initial turret for the Tiger II. So it's like the VK4502A, I guess, but that's the super heavy tank. It was meant to be 100 tons with a lot of weight, but modifications, upgrades, design phases, I guess. So. Then it became the mouse in 1944, so two years of design, but it was going to be a lot heavier than the 100 tons initially, so 120 with about 6 to 8 horsepower per ton ratio, but similar engine design to the Tiger P, so this is only a blueprint vehicle. So here you can see the initial design of the Mammut, so very big vehicle, big gun, 150 millimeter, obviously. It's a lot of shells, but they modify a turret, so they want more stuff with the turret. They thought about the center of mass, 
yada yada, and they want to have better focus on the compartments for the shells that led to a bigger turret. So that became the mouse turret that you know and shifted the center of weight, yada yada, and that led to the moist hen, and then the mouse chin, or mouse chin, and then the mouse. So that's the basic history of it, but this vehicle is the initial design, only a blueprint for the mouse. So here are the in-game models. It's been in HD for about a year and a half, so yeah, it's pretty much you already have this vehicle in your res folder, but they buff <laughs> the crap out of the stats. Holy, you'll see, you'll see, it's coming right up. But it's alright. It's not as pretty as the Tiger 2, but you can't beat the Tiger 2 in terms of prettiness. It's alright. I mean, it's not as ugly as the Oho, so I couldn't complain, but there is no weak spots like the driver view slit or the bow machine gun. The turret could look like the Tiger 2's turret, but it looks more like the Porsche turret, quote unquote. That's the initial stock turret for the Tiger 2. So, in essence, it's a large vehicle. It has a side skirt for the ass, the engine housing right here. So, kind of funny. But we already talked a lot about this vehicle with the initial leak episode. This is a redux. We'll talk about the changes. So here are the collision models. As you can see, the new one is on the right. The old one is on the left. And yep, even though the scales are pretty much the same, it's a lot redder. Uh, <laughs> that means the armor is a lot thicker, with thicker mantlet and thicker mud flaps, the track guards. So basically, armor buff. A lot of armor buff. So. Here are some points to consider before we do the inspection. <laughs> the upper plate is almost double of the initial arm, or uh, 33%, 40% boosted from the initial <laughs> armor. It's 140 on the upper frontal plate to 200 millimeter, sloped at 40 degree. This is basically the same as the mouse current armor in the game. That's about 310 millimeters effective. This is a tier 8 ve <laughs> vehicle. Right. So, thicker areas, deeper shading means thicker armor. So, the mud flaps, the upper frontal plate, the matlet, the cupola is slightly th thicker at the middle, though it's not as thick at the sides. Turret cheeks right here, and the turret ring. So, all right. <laughs> so here you can see the initial model of this vehicle currently in the res folder is about 200 millimeter, 220, based on the AP negation of the sloping. But it's relatively good as it is in the game. But they boosted the armor from 140 millimeter to 200 millimeter on the super test server. So that's the same as the mouse, 310 millimeters effective. <laughs> Lower plate is 120, so it's about 100, uh, 210 effective without the angling. Now it's 130, so it's about 225. Pretty good. The turret looks about the same, but the cheeks are thicker, with the cupola thicker at the middle. So we need the exact model because it's a different shade of red, and I cannot tell, but on paper, the turret armor is increased by 10 millimeters. So it should be about 220, but I cannot tell the difference between 220 to 210. So it's still a pretty thick turret for tier 8 standard. And it's rounded. So you are not penetrating this turret. And this thing has 8 degrees of gun depression. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> How do you kill this thing at the front with a tier 6? Like a Churchill Mark 7. <laughs> You're not. So there are weak spots underneath the mud guards, the track guards, but it's 200 millimeter thick now. It's a sloped 40 millimeter. So you don't even think about it. It's about 400 millimeter effective. So this mantlet is thick. The track guards are thick. Upper plate is thick. Cupola is rounded slightly and thick. Lower plate 
is pretty thick and will slope. My god, there's no weak spots at the front. None. Unless you have a high penetration, large caliber gun. No. <laughs> so, side armor is about 130 now, rather than 120. So, it's very good for side scraping. Almost as good as the KV-4, but the KV-4 is pretty much the king of side scraping other than the E-100. So, it's still pretty thick. 130, yeah, that's great. So, side scrape. And the cupola is on the port side, so favor a cover to the port side, and side scrape to the right. So that's, you already know, I talk a lot about side scraping, so. It's very thick on the sides as well, so turret is 160 at the side, so wiggle the turret to whichever angle you want, because 160 angle is very thick, so dramatically wiggle your turret. It doesn't matter. <laughs> side of the turret is super thick. So they buffed the side armor as well. A lot. <laughs> Rear armor got buffed. So it was 80 millimeter. Now it's 110. It was 80 millimeter on the turret. Now it's 140. Because why not? <laughs> so this thing is huge. It's thick. You cannot kill this thing with like a tier 6, even shooting at the size. Imagine the Sherman EZ-8 with a 76mm. The average penetration of the gun is 126, I believe. This thing has 130 millimeters of side armor and a large covering for the ass. So, you're going to shoot gold at point blank range into his side armor while he has basically a chunking large gun, 128 millimeter, that deals three quarters of your health in one shot. <laughs> he could also one shot you with high explosive close to. So god. <laughs> but here are the main stats for the Mammut. So it's going to be a tier 8, normal German heavy tank, crew of 6 with 2 loaders, a radio operator, a driver, gunner, and commander. Normal matchmaking will cost you about 2.5 million credits. Best money ever spent. So hit point is above average, 1700. Engine power is 1200. So that's a lot of horsepower and it weighs a lot, about 120 tons. So the horsepower per ton ratio is actually not that bad, about 10. That's the same as the Romtail Borsig, but this is a large heavy tank. Mammoth of a heavy tank. So 10 horsepower per ton ratio is not that bad. Top speed is slow. 20 kilometers per hour. Reverse is 15. So it will feel like the mouse, basically, or like the Black Prince, but you don't have the 12 horsepower per ton ratio of the Black Prince, so it doesn't rev up as fast. Hull traverse is very bad, only 15 degrees per second. Turret traverse is 15.6 degrees per second. So this thing will get pretty much circle strafed, but if you play this thing well, you will use buildings to your cover, and side armor is thick. Rear armor is guarded by a side skirt, so no problems. Terrain resistance is actually very good for a heavy tank. It's like a medium. <laughs> or like a light tank, like the Bulldog. So 0 0.767 for hard, 0 0.863 for medium, and 1.918 for soft. That's like the Bulldog, I believe. That's very good. That's, this is a heavy tank, bro. <laughs> bro, this is a heavy. You're comparing to a light tank's terrain resistance. So it's very soft on its foot. And that's very good. View range is 400 meters. It's very keen eyed or sharp eyed whatever you call it. But it will spot you. View range is pretty good, but radio range is standard, so... Yeah, you can do whatever you want with artillery. Camo is bad, 5.7%. So, it's a heavy tank, obviously. Hull armor, 200 at the front, 130 at the side, 110 at the rear. Turret armor is 220 at the front, 160 at the sides, and 140 at the rear. So, pretty thick. It has 128mm, has 50 rounds, fires AP, APCR, and high explosive. Penetration is pretty good, above average, for the AP, 220, but the APCR shell is kinda lacking, only 250. So basically, you will have 
some problems fighting yourself with this vehicle because the 220 millimeter of pen cannot really penetrate the cupola or the lower plate so you have to use gold but this gold round is not that effective against something like the type 4 or type 5 so most matches will become battle of the giants <laughs> And they'll shoot like high explosive into each other, which is going to be hilarious. Alpha is very high, 490. So the highest alpha for a tier 8 heavy tank. Where the fire is about 4 rounds per minute with a gun rammer and vents. DPM is not that bad. It's average, 1800. Reloads every 16 seconds, 15.8 with a gun rammer and vents. Accuracy is 0.384, which is slightly below average, but not that bad. Not really. Compared to the Russians, not really. Aim time is actually quite good, considering the big caliber gun. 2.6 seconds. So, <clears throat> this gun is quite workable. It's like the T-34's gun. It's not accurate. Well, actually, the T-34's gun is accurate, but it takes a long time to aim. But it's a large alpha high penetration gun so just trade shots and cover your armor but yeah 8 degrees of gun depression all down and 30 elevation so you can shoot up into something like a hill like mines map where medium tanks take the middle part of the mines and they're harassing you from the upper parts of the plateau but you can shoot up at them into their lower plate with this elevation so it's very good now here are the actual stats from the tank inspector so as you can see highest AP alpha for a tier 8 heavy tank the stock gun is actually not that bad it's 105 millimeter with about the same penetration as the T32's 105 so I believe you have this gun on the Tiger 2 it's the first 105 not the second one, but it's all right penetration, 200 millimeter, and alpha is 320, so not that bad of a stock grind. And it does have only one turret, so you don't have to upgrade the turret to get more health, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but it does seem to have only one turret. It has about the same mobility as the mouse, but better terrain resistance, so it's a pretty heavy hefty boy so go squash faces with this vehicle now here are the stats changes from a year and a half ago so they increased the hull armor dramatically <laughs> they increased the turret armor they up the hit points increased the engine power weight got increased by half a ton horsepower per ton ratio is a lot better hull traverse nerfed <laughs> turret traverse nerfed Terrain resistance got boosted actually, so that's good. View range got dramatically boosted, added the 105 for stock gun. Initially, this vehicle was meant to be a premium, but they changed it to a normal tank. The 128 got improved, so slightly better penetration for the AP round. Slightly faster reload, so a little bit more DPM. All right, And aim time decreased a lot. And ammo count decreased, so less rounds, but it's alright, 50 rounds, it's good. The Fernand has about 30 rounds, I believe, and that's sufficient for tier 8. So 50 rounds, it's fine. Here is a good comparison of the initial leak episode of the Mammoth. My god, the quality of change. <laughs> it looks so crappy for the initial thumbnail I used. <laughs> Well, quality of life improvements. I do everything. I do the intros, the thumbnails, the graphics, the templates, all the stuff. So I spent a lot more time doing these. It does pay off. It does look a lot, nice, a lot nicer. Holy crap. My god, I was such a noob. Freaking pleb. <laughs> so here are the final thoughts and opinions about the Mammoth. So initial leak time was early August of 2015. It's been a year and a half. Most stats have been buffed. 
since the initial conception, but other than the hull and turret traverse, so it's a lot slower to turn and uh, prevent circle strafing, but it's a heavy tank, obviously. So penetration, alpha, ammo count, view, uh, view time, aim time, view range, gun angles, terrain resistance, health, and weight is pretty good for a heavy tank. And the armor, especially the cupola and the upper frontal plate, is crazy. Now the shell velocity might be a little bit slow. It's about 810, I believe, meters per second, but just lead your shot or get into their face in just close range combat. Accuracy is a little bit weak. Hull and turret traverse, obviously. Top speed is slow, and it's a large vehicle, but it's a mammoth. It's a behemoth. It's a large bully of a tank, so it's very similar to the mouse's mobility stats with the same hull traverse and top speed, but a lot better turret traverse. So here you can see the comparison. It has better horsepower return ratio, slightly less turret traverse, but better terrain resistance. A lot better terrain resistance. Here's the comparison with the Tiger 2, but Tiger 2 has a lot more top speed. So it will rev up to the top speed, but heavy tanks. So the Tiger 2 has no armor compared to this vehicle. <laughs> it has the same upper frontal plate as the mouse. Jesus. So 200 millimeter at 40 degree angle. It's the same as the current mouse's upper plate, but the mouse will receive a armor buff of 50 millimeter to the upper plate. So that's like what? 400 plus millimeters effective. <laughs> Wow, so it's the highest AP Alpha of all Tier 8 heavy tank, comparable to a tank destroyer at Tier 8. The stock gun has the same penetration and Alpha as the American Tier 8 heavy tank's top gun, the T-32. So the stock grind is not that bad, and it only should have one turret, so you don't have to research the second turret. Not the heaviest Tier 8 heavy tank that goes to the Oho still, with one more ton, but these are large vehicles. But the armor is more consistent on this vehicle than the Oho because the Oho has 200 millimeters flat. So if you shoot the little machine gun port, you'll penetrate, and it has only one degree of gun depression. <laughs> Girl. So yeah, how do you kill this thing from the front with a tier six or tier seven? Like the Churchill Mark Seven. Oh my God. <laughs> You're both slow, but he has the penetration, and he has the armor, and he doesn't care about you, so you get wrecked. <laughs> or play something like the T-150. Oh my god, you get... Uh, it makes you want to quit the game when you're fighting one of these. Oh my god. Let's see. M6, you'll get wrecked. No, nope, you're not fast enough to circle strafe him, no? And his side armor is... Yeah, yeah. What about... The British slow. There's no tank destroyer with more than 200 millimeters of pin for tier six, I believe. The Nashorn has 200. Same goes for the IKV 65 alternate number two. So basically, you have to use gold on the cupola, and you might miss. And you have to aim at the lower plate, but he's probably angled. <sighs> wow, <laughs> this thing is such a bully. <laughs> It's like gigantic monster fighting kaijus. <laughs> Barbara Streisand. What? I love uh, I love the fact that I put this picture in. It's Barbara, <laughs> Barbara Streisand smash. So is it worth it? Yeah, hell yes. If you appreciate Japanese heavy tanks or the mouse, then this is right up that alley. It's a bully. It's hard to pen, but you'll get artillery, obviously. But if you stick to walls, stick to buildings, Artillery, yeah, artillery is not usually a problem unless it's an open field map like Miravanka, uh, Miravanka or Prokhorovka. So it still has the gun depression to go haul down even in those open field maps and just try to avoid them if you can. But it's a true heavy tank for city combat. Side scraping, haul down, you name it. So all the tricks in the bags, it's very good. So it should be unlocked with the moist hint if you already researched the mouse from the VK4502P OSB before 9.17.1. So get to work with the VK4502, but that vehicle is still 
pretty awesome now too, right? You cannot penetrate the front unless you shoot the turret with gold or shoot the cupola. But <laughs> Barbara Streisand. <laughs> so basically, nine point seventeen point one will become a large arena for gigantic monsters to fight each other. So having the sex with the bees and the eagles. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> you simply one simply does not skip that intro holy crap but yeah it's going to be an arena of large monsters and either you play artillery or you play one of them you better have a smart coordinated team to kill this thing immediately because if you have a platoon of these like three of those they will just wreck any encounter mode or attack slash defense mode to just rush your base and you, you cannot kill them <laughs> but it's such a bully to lower tiers like tier six no tier sevens tank destroyers at tier seven usually don't have high penetration about 200 or so as well unless you're playing the sturdy mill or what has more penetration for tier seven for tank destroyer wise uh the ikv 90 has like 220 but still you have to use gold on this vehicle it's only one tier higher it's a tier 8 for christ's sake i mean with armor i believe it could be tier 9 or even tier 10 but it's a tier 8 <laughs> so there you go folks the new mammoth redux it's a lot better a lot more op well originally it was pretty fair because it's slow and the armor wasn't that good it was like the tiger 2 so it was okay, but now <laughs> has the same upper plate as the mouse currently in the game. <laughs> Having the sex with the bees and the eagles. Dun, 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 dun. Just scream that every time you play this vehicle. A squash face. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.